first things first, you have to download the app from the App Store and should have some footage on the screen of doing this. And once you've downloaded it, what we're gonna do is actually open up the app and go through and set these glasses up. So this is it here. So we've started up and these are the Ray-Ban glasses. So you have the get started on the bottom of the screen. What it'll do is ask you to log into Meta. So you can either log in with your account, log in with another one, and I do believe it'll give you an option to register as well. But if you've got your, your Meta account, so Facebook, Instagram, that sort of thing, it'll load it up and that'll go. So my information is already saved in here. So here we go, it says get started. Now you've got the two options. So you've got the Ray-Ban Meta and the Ray-Ban Stories. We're going for Ray-Ban Meta because that's what these glasses are. It says here, remove the protective tab and leave the glasses inside of the case. So that's here. So we've got the case. And we'll just fold the glasses up. Put them back in the case. As you can see there, it has the orange light on rather than the green light. So what it says, you have to wait 30 seconds for the case LED to turn blue, which it's currently orange at the minute. If it doesn't turn blue, yeah, there's a button on the back, as you can see there, hopefully. This is the pairing button, so all you have to do is hold that for five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. And just like so, the blue lights come on. So on your screen now, which says blue light turned on, you click that button, that'll search and straight away it's found the device really quick. So I'll click connect, that'll connect via Bluetooth. It says, would you like to pair, confirm the code? So I just clicked okay on that, pairing. It's activating on the cloud. And there the blue light stopped on the glasses case now because it's already synced up, so that doesn't need any more. And as you can see here, it's come up and it's, um, it goes through and checks for any updates. So this is local network access required. View needs to connect to your glasses over Wi-Fi for setup. This allows you to complete setup, import photos, install firmware updates. So you click next. That allows your network access. And again, click allow, and that loads up to allow to get access to networks. Because obviously when you are downloading stuff, it needs to be done via Wi-Fi from the glasses to the app and also to the phone. So depending on when you got your glasses, this may or may not require an update. I've ordered mine two, three days ago. So they were shipped from the Meta store and obviously there must be an update since then or they maybe have been in stock in there for a while. So therefore it requires the latest update. So that's come up now. So I'm just installing the update. As it says here, it says, keep the app open your glasses nearby until the update is complete. So it's gonna take four minutes to go through the update and install that. While it does that, it gives you the option to swipe left to discover more. So obviously it's gonna show you about the Meta AI and go through that saying, hey Meta, what is this, what is that? And it'll tell you and describe to you what you're looking at. And then obviously the camera, which I'm most excited for this about, as with most photographers, videographers who are gonna be buying these cameras, this is fantastic to record behind the scenes footage and loads of little snippets for short and stuff like that. It's just gonna be absolutely amazing, I think. And again, just showing you some of the different videos that you can capture, so playing fetch with your dog, playing with the cats, that sort of thing. This one here is um, the same again, asking AI, so what's the highest peak in the Glasshouse Mountains? So you can, be somewhere and ask it information about facts that you've got. But again, the only way this will work is if you've got Wi-Fi. So if you're in the middle of nowhere, that's probably not gonna work. And again, find us at the beach all summer long. So me and Rara do this quite often, which is a follow me too. So I think they did that at the beginning where they're holding the hands. So I think this will be absolutely amazing to get the photos and videos just super, super easy. Normally we have to go there, set it up, get the phone, do all that sort of thing. Now I can just press a button on the side. I'll say, hey mate, I take a photo. It'll do that and that's it done. Don't even get, get my phone out of my pocket. And then of course, capturing like moments like this, so it's great for point of view stuff, so it can show your view from parties and stuff like that. So let's hopefully skip forward to after the two minutes remaining as installed and the updates are done. So the install has gone through and now it says that it's rebooting the glasses. So that'll be installing the update, giving a reboot, so the glasses will be all up to date now. So there we go, all done, your glasses are up to date. So then you click next and it comes up here, get notifications about your device. Turn on push notifications to get this. So obviously I'll turn this on so we can get notifications about the glasses. And here we go, learning the basics. So put on your glasses. So I'll take them out, it says detecting. There we go, glasses are on and the speakers comes up straight away. 
So the next thing it says take a photo. So press the capture button, which is on your right hand side. So you press that, just like so, that's took a photo. Now start recording, so press and hold. And just like so, that's start to record a video. And then to stop record, record press, press it again. again. There we go. So play music, press it once, which is on the right side, I do believe. Yeah, there we go, that's play music and that's quite surreal. And then again, press the touchpad to pause the music. Next one, uh, Meta AI, so we'll just press continue. So we're gonna enable Meta AI, just like so. And you've also got the option to store your voice recordings too. Next up, it's asking you to turn on location features. So you just press next, that turns it on. And there we have it as a allow all. So now we're gonna ask the Meta AI some information. Hey Meta, what is the tallest building in the world? I don't know if that picked it up on the mic, but uh, that audio came straight from the glasses. Hey Meta, how long did it take to build? Hey Meta, look and describe what I'm seeing. You're seeing a camera on a tripod with various items and boxes in the background. Sort of a camera on a tripod, it's the Pocket 3, but good enough. And there we go, it's all done. So I'll just put back my normal glass on so I can see. Next thing to do is to connect the music apps. So you go in here and you connect all of your apps. You also have communicate hands-free, so you connect all that up with your phone, WhatsApp, etc. And customize voice settings. This is where you can change the voice settings for the Meta Smart Glasses. So I'm just gonna click do later, because I'm gonna set it all up later. And then this is also to share data. So you go on, and if you wanna share, do that. If you don't, do that. Now it's done, click done, and you're sorted. So as you can see here on the app, it's found the, the media already for the two that I've just done, the photo and the video. So I'll just say import. That'll connect to the glasses and that'll import the clips for me. So I'll just join the, the Wi-Fi network for the glasses. Searching for the glasses Wi-Fi now. There we go. That's important, the clips that I recorded when I went through the tutorial to say, take a photo and record a video. And it's got here, so auto import while charging. So when the glasses turned on, in the case, your phone is connected to Wi-Fi has been saved, you can auto import all your images and videos to that. So I'm just gonna go on and you add your own Wi-Fi network. So there we go, that's done. And this was a quick sort of tutorial as such to show you how to connect your Meta Glasses to the app and then get away so you can start using them. So hope you found that helpful. If you did, please leave a comment below. And like I said in the other video of unboxing and showing you what's in the box, I've got loads of videos to come up with these Ray-Ban Meta glasses. I'm really excited to do them. So yeah, let's look forward to them. Until next time, see ya.